Tutorial how the palm of basketball, how I got myself to palm of basketball. So it's kind of like a vlog, but uh, I'll tell you how I learned. So, first, I'll demonstrate. And get set it down there. Well, the basketball I can palm is about a 30 inch one. For starters, I'll let you know. My hand is about uh, almost nine inches long from this end to my fingertips. So about nine inches by 8.9 when I last measured. But I've been working on it for a couple of weeks. Got the hang of how to palm the ball. The key is to put your thumb around one of these ridges and your fingers in here past the ridge it might slip up here but you want to get it on one of these so you have some leverage so yeah and you have to like compress the ball first so you lift off the ground so I can demonstrate like that okay sometimes it's easier if you do it the other way around like if I have really good strong thumbs and they're also double jointed if that's even a real thing but when you palm a ball the most of the force is going to be coming from your thumb down that's going to be like the great like a third of it the rest will be coming around from your fingers and this finger right here isn't really going to be used for much so if you want to keep it off the ball it will help from um, keeping it from being pushed around because you can push using this finger down cause it to slip so when you're palming a ball keep in mind that the finger or the digit of your hand that's going to be putting the most force it's going to be uh your thumb at least for me because my i can bend my thumb all the way back and straight which most people can't really do it's even better on this hand yeah, it looks kind of funny though. Fix that there. Now you see, so this is, I can do. It's about like one ten degrees. No, not one ten. Like ninety something. Really close to a hundred. So I have. So basically. Get the ball and get your fingers up past here so they can slip back here and as you roll your ball your thumb will hit around here and you want to put a lot of force Let's see where my thumb is at and you put down like that it'll slip up when you pull but really what you want to work on is making sure you have your fingers don't slip that's all so if you have moist fingers it might work if you had dry hands and then it's not really gonna work my fingertips are kind of moist at the time the rest of my hands are usually dry you see calluses over there but I want to really practice having a good grip on the ball that's what I'll really focus on the placement rather than how much force because I don't really use much force unless you have smaller hands like but if your hands are in the 8.5 region and beyond, 8 inch, if you really have good grip strength, then you can probably palm a ball. It just depends on your placement. Let's see if I can do it in midair. Yeah. Throw it this far. Yeah, and that was with one hand holding it above. Oh, okay. Well, that's it for this tutorial. See you guys later.